Hello, my name is Jay, and let's talk about used computer cases. So, in the past, I've bought multiple used computer cases. Yes, some of these are visible, some are actually hidden behind here. You watch another one of my videos, you'll see all the, you know, cases that I've got lined up. And I want to take today to talk about some of the pros and cons of actually going through and buying a used case. Now, keep in mind, this is not something that's going to fail. Um, yeah, you may have a power button go on it, but that's about the only component that can really fail. Um, so let's really talk about just what goes on here. So when you're looking out to buy a computer case, there are a lot of options, and a lot of them are very expensive. Some of them come with side panels, and some of them are difficult to find. This one right here is actually an MSI case, and in case you're wondering, MSI doesn't make cases. Well, this is a 2002 MSI uh, case. I don't even know the name of it. Uh, so I couldn't even find it. But this is basically a case that is kind of solely, it's got a nice side panel, and it's pretty much got um, the standard stuff of the time, which has the DVD options on the front, and of course it's got a power button and such, and Type 2, or uh, USB Gen 2 um, ports on the front. So, let's talk about that first downside, because I'm sure you probably have already picked up on it, is that the older cases you get, the slower the USB interface is, and you can't really ignore that. And especially with some older cases, um, this one actually has still the same um, input and output AIO, that um, is available um, today on common motherboards but if you go a little bit older you won't be able to get this so my point in being is if you're out there looking for a computer case you gotta look for a few things number one a semi-recent front port USB Gen 2 is fine as long as you're not doing anything substantially important um, transferring large files on a USB then there's nothing to worry about uh, keyboard games and stuff will be fine um, the problem only lies if you maybe you're you know concerned about you know transferring your USBs at extremely high speeds and just kind of preference the back ports on your computer with that. Uh, don't really try to go through and use the front ports. So let's talk about some of the you know looks on this. So this is really old. And you can tell that. Now what I'm going to be doing in the coming videos is I'm going to be trying to redesign this, basically paint this, uh, I'll probably spray paint it actually, and I'm going to spray paint this probably sides black, I'm going to get some carbon vinyl maybe, and redo the front, make it look very pretty, and so that's what we're going to do is just basically repaint this, give us a modern look. Now obviously since this is an, M this is an MSI case, you really can't, I mean yeah you could upgrade some of the ports on the front. And of course now you no longer need all these front panels because no one uses DVDs or CDs um, or floppy drives at that point because it still has floppy drive availability. But you could always put uh, USBs in there. You could always line that place up full with USBs and there are you know slots that go fit that um, available online. And then that actually would offer a lot of AIO that you're kind of missing on the two ports that are in front here. And let me make sure I can show you guys those as well. So as you can see right there, um, let's see if I can turn this a little bit better for you guys. There's got two ports on the front, and then you've kind of got a nice little um, front right there to kind of look into. But the reason why I like this case so much is because of the side panel. You can do a lot with the case with the side panel, and this is all pretty much tin, aluminum, um, or sorry, aluminum, and it's really light. Um, so you really can do a lot with it. Now, obviously, some modern day cases are really heavy, or they, you know, have solid metal inner workings, and this is all aluminum, which is something you really don't find anymore. And so, you know, if you're sitting out there looking for a case, the best way to go about it is to kind of determine what you need, look on the interface, look on what you're kind of given as like a blank template, um, you know, a nice side panel, um, some kind of good looks overall, and you can really just paint over anything, add carbon, uh, carbon uh, fiber vinyl wrap to it, you can go about doing things a lot of different ways so that, you know, everything looks nice, um, but you don't really have to spend the, you know, anywhere from 30 to hundred and twenty dollars to get a nice case like this now obviously before you wonder you know why should you get a this case over something like this first of all this is a very expensive case um, the reason why I decided to get it is actually because I got it for free nice cool deal um, I swapped out my old case for a new one and I didn't have to pay any more for that so that's that's going to be a very particular circumstance um, but for most people, that's going to be a much more expensive option, especially when this was pretty much dug out the trash, rather than that, which was brand new at the time I got it, which I wanted something to look nice for the background of my videos, and this would as well. It's just I feel like that was a much better option at the time, and I wasn't aware of the situation here. So this right here, as I said, you can basically just kind of deal with, you could add some um, spray paint decals on it. You can go all out on this and then make this look very nice and modern just by adding a new pair, um, can of paint or a new bit of paint on it and putting some wraps on it. It will look great. So... 
you know, if you're wondering, you should should you do it? The option is really just depends on how desperate you are, because you do lose out on a couple things. Uh, you don't get the newest stuff. Um, your ports won't be necessarily the best, and you won't necessarily be getting the absolute newest technology, greatest and latest. So. It really depends on how low your budget is. Now, in order to redo this whole case, it would probably cost me less than five bucks. Um, so you're pretty much paying for a five buck case. And, you know, arguably, if someone's in a budget computer situation, which I might actually be redoing this case and giving it to somebody for a budget computer that I'm working on currently, this would be a great option, especially if you just want to save, literally have something that looks nice, but save a lot of money on it as well. So, without further ado, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, of course, give the video a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments your thoughts and opinions. If you need help picking out any cases, check out my Discord server in the description as well for all those kind of things. But as always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.